blood, brotherhood, betrayal. All they talk about is drugs, violence, hits on each other. The Bike Is Inc. podcast lifts the lid on Australia's outlaw motorcycle gangs who now control more than $3 billion worth of illegal drugs each year. Almost all of the arrests here to do with the illicit drug trade. Bikies have moved on from riding Harleys. Now they are multinational drug cartels. The Brotherhood thing is just a myth. At the end of the day, they are just a, a group of criminals that work together. And human life and the individuals that work for them are expendable. A serious, targeted assassination in a public street during daylight hours. The Comanchero, the Hells Angels, the Banditos, the Mongols, the Finks and the Lone Wolf are among Australia's most powerful outlaw motorcycle gangs. And they're getting more dangerous. The bikies of the 80s aren't, are not the bikies. Um, that we see now. They've metamorphosed into a very commercial enterprise, still uh, with a key feature of a level of violence. Ambulance emergency, what suburb are we coming to? It's a mascot, Sydney, it's the airport. Comanchero bikies had just bashed a man in full view of hundreds of travellers. In this eight part series, You'll hear tales from inside bikey gangs, car bombings in Greece, how a Sydney underworld figure was murdered in cold blood, and how police are stopping some of the violence. We clearly have targeted RMCGs with firearms prohibition orders because RMCGs meet the criteria in terms of criminal history, in terms of the propensity and threat of them carrying a, an illegal gun. There will be debts owed, uh, there will be conflict, and there will be someone trying to step up to fill that gap. Bikey's Inc. Subscribe to hear the full podcast first.